Okay, let's break down the solo. I'm using a Gibson Les Paul for the solo, as in all the Rick Springfield videos where his lead guitarist uses a Les Paul. So let's hit it. Um, first note, we're going to hit the D string on the seventh fret. We're going to hit it eight times. What you'll notice, um, the guitarist is using a harmonic. How you do that, you take your pick and you hit your thumb and the plastic of your pick at the same time you hit the string. So let's try that. Very important, the plastic and the flesh of your thumb has to hit the string at the same time. Okay, the next part of the solo. What he's doing is he's uh, playing on the 12th fret, the E string and the B string, then down to the 10th fret B string, and the 10th fret E string, 9th fret E string, 10th fret B string next. Tenth fret E string, and then tenth fret B string again. You want to give that a full bend. That's the first part of the solo. Then, he's going to slide up to the 17th fret on the B string. Give it a full, full bend right away. And um, the tablature, if, if you buy a, a Rick Springfield Greatest Hits book, and uh, you're, you're playing the tab, the transcription will show you that you'll do a full bend on the 17th fret on the B string. And then you'll hit the 17th fret on the E string. And then release the uh, bend on the 17th fret on the B string. But in concert, the guitarist doesn't do that. What he does is he goes... He takes his pick or his finger. There's a hammer on So it's your choice. It's easier to play. Or you can do the hammer on on the 20th fret. So far. And what we're going to do is we're going to play the 16th fret on the D string, followed by the 15th fret on the D string, followed by the 14th fret on the D string. Then the 15th fret on the B string. And we're going to play that again. Okay. Then we're going to bar the 19th fret. We're going to play the B string and the G string with our thumb and index finger. Play that twice. 
We're going to slide down to the 17th fret, holding our position. Play that one time. So we're going to slide down, take our um, index finger, and put it on the B string on the 15th fret, and our middle finger on the G string on the 16th fret. So it's 19th fret, 17th fret, down on 15th fret, 14th fret, and 12th fret on the E string. And then we're going to play the 15th fret on the B string. And back to the 12th fret on the E string. Then back to the 12th fret on the E string. And the 15th fret on the B string. Okay, 11th fret, D string. 10th fret, B string. And then 12th fret, B string. And then 9th fret, E string. And then back to the 10th fret on the B string. Okay, and then we're going to take our index finger and our middle finger, we're going to take our index finger on the B string on the 8th fret and our middle finger we're going to place on the 9th fret on the D string. Play that at the same time. We're going to slide up a whole step. It would be on the 10th fret and the 11th fret. So then your index finger would be on the B string on the 10th fret. Your middle finger would be on the D string on the 11th fret. And you're going to bar both the B string and the D string on the 12th fret. And you're going to play... You're going to put your index finger on the D string on the 14th fret and your middle finger. All right, last but not least, the outro. What we're doing there, we're playing an A chord. Hold that. 